The coronavirus has officially been declared as a worldwide pandemic, and many around the world are searching for guidance. As Muslims, here are a few things to keep in mind as we prepare ourselves for the onset of what's to come. First off, don't panic. Panic will only escalate fears and reduce our ability to respond effectively to the situation. In fact, we've seen multiple instances where panic generates more harm than benefit, whereby people are wiping out shelves in supermarkets and hoarding items for themselves. These actions are not only very selfish, but are considered very sinful in Islam. Be prepared. While it's important to avoid panicking, this however doesn't mean that we shouldn't take the necessary precautions to prepare ourselves for what's to come. As the Prophet taught us, which essentially reminds us to take by the necessary means while at the same time placing our full trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Muslims, we should follow the necessary precautions and guidelines from health officials in order to protect ourselves and others from the coronavirus. Whether this is through thoroughly washing our hands, avoiding mass public gatherings, abstaining from unnecessary travel, or even wearing a face mask if you're unwell to protect others from getting infected. While medical officials are advising us to practice self-isolation and quarantine today, the Prophet ﷺ gave us this advice 1400 years ago. The Prophet taught us that one should not enter nor leave a land affected by a plague. This advice also applies to those who wish to attend public gatherings if they feel unwell, even if it's the masjid. In fact, if one does have the coronavirus, it's impermissible for them to attend the masjid even if they feel capable. While COVID-19 may not be deadly in your case, you potentially may be the cause of the spread to others who are vulnerable, putting their lives at risk. And in Islam, preventing harm takes precedence over any benefit. In such a case, one should not feel like they are missing out on any reward, and the reward will still be written as our Prophet ﷺ advised. While following all the necessary physical precautionary measures, one should never neglect their spiritual protections. There are many specific adhkar of the Prophet ﷺ to protect us from affliction. For instance, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever says, Bismillahi ladhi la yadurru ma'a smihi shay' fil ardi wa la fil sama' wa huwa sami'u al-alim. If this supplication is said three times in the morning, then the person will not suffer sudden affliction until the evening. And if anyone says this in the evening, he will not suffer sudden affliction until the morning. Now after taking all reasonable precautions and reciting the daily adhkar, one should bear in mind, that everything's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, قُلْ لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Say, never will we be struck except by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for us. He is our protector, and upon Allah let the believers rely. Instead of having fear and panic, let us all use this calamity as an opportunity to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to rediscover our faith. What we are witnessing today is a reminder of how weak we are as humans and how something that is not visible to the eye is threatening the greatest of nations. This is a very strong reminder of how much we are in need of our Creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this time, let us raise our hands in dua and beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from harm and affliction. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings an end to this pandemic and restores peace and good health to all those suffering around the world. Ameen.